we're painting wacky rabbits. Or rabbits, whatever. Wacky mm -hmm. rabbits. <laughs> so and, okay. No. Yeah. So we're gonna art. Yeah, ah! we're gonna art today. Just like we did with our flamingos. That's there, it. Over there. And it's exciting. So we move the, the screen up a little bit. That's why we're closer. And so maybe you can see a little better because that was one of the things we got feedback on. Her ears are straight. Mine's a little wacky. You be as wacky as you need to be today. And, um, ooh, do you see my glasses? And then we're going to um, play. Oh, look, your mom is watching. We'll <laughs> wave to her. I learned that earlier in oh, my preview you where you wave. Okay, wave. so here we go. Bunny wave. Check out your, you know, a lot of people, Grayson, ask me, they say, where do you get your ideas from? Where do you get your ideas from? You know where I got this idea from? Look, sit on your stool a minute. And I'll show them. I was walking around and I saw these two wonderful cup towels. And I went, I gotta paint that. So I find inspiration everywhere in pillows or in um, magazines well i find my inspiration is outside like, well all around you right everything around you you can paint you can make stuff out of it that's right anything even your shoes you got on today or not your shoes can give you inspiration you could draw your shoe for all that means mm -hmm. so i got these cup towels and I started to paint and right up here this is what my inspiration piece came out of now I painted that one first and I painted this one second and when I painted this one second it's a little different than the first one and that's often very common when you paint something the second time you paint it it doesn't always turn out exactly the same oh good Grayson's getting us ready we're going to do a little warm-up practice drawing and then we will get busy with our painting today so if you have a pencil or something to draw on we use wipe and write boards which are also known as just clipboards and um, got these at office depot a million years ago and this time i'm going to draw and i want you to draw with me oh she's drawing already <laughs> grayson's drawing oh shazam this one doesn't work Miss Beth, I see you're watching. This one is for you. I need you here. I'm just kidding. We got to get this virus thing under control. But until we do, we're live. And we thank you for joining us today. This was the whale that we drew last time if you joined in with flamingos. And today we're going to draw something else. Let's see what you do. Wipe it off. Here we go. I'm turning my tip paper tall. Okay. And I'm going to make... The, a wide set number 11. In fact, I think I'll turn this way so you can see. A wide set number 11. And then I'm going to close the top of the door, close the bottom of the door, so I have something that looks a whole lot like a rectangle or square. Then I'm going to go down and slide. So down and slide. Down and slide. Looks like a shoe. Told you something about a shoe, didn't I? Then I go back up to this corner right here. And I'm going to slide out like that. Out like that. Got it? I try not to go fast. But I know what I'm doing, so I go fast. So if you want, later on today, this is going to upload to uh, YouTube. And it's COPA friendly. Everything's good. And then you can... And um, I don't know how to, I have to turn off notifications here in a minute. Anyway, you can look at it then and slow it down. So then I'm going to take the letter U. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Things happen. Party crash. Party crash. We okay. take letters. Let's try this again. That it is. You ready? You take letters and numbers and shapes and things that you already know, and we go, looks like a U. Can you do that part? Yes. Mm. 
And then we're going to slide around and touch this side with the letter C. And slide around and touch and close the door with another little letter C. And look, can you tell what that's going to be? Do you know what that's going to be? Mm, the only one who knows what that's going to be is me. And I'm going to take the letter C and put it up here in this corner. Oh, it's a koala. Mm, and a uh, letter C in this side. It's a koala. Hang on. I need to fix mine. Right. If you need to fix it, you erase it. In the studio, we don't have erasers. On the wipe and write board, we use our finger or a washcloth to wipe it off with. But if we make a mistake, we just turn it into something else. We ignore it. We don't stress over it. Bob Ross, remember I talked about him. I even have him on my shirt today. Bob Ross is a man who painted, and he said, when you make a mistake, you just turn it into a little tree. A little happy tree. Well, maybe turn it into a little happy tree. Or... A sombrero, right, a sombrero, yes. So don't worry, don't stress. That's the whole point of this is don't stress. That's your plan. All right, then we're going to give our koala a nose. I use the letter V a lot. I'll use it today when we make our rabbit, our wacky rabbit. And then I go across the top, beep, like a rainbow. An ice cream rainbow. Well, thanks for liking. I see some friends there. Yay for you for coming in. And I give it two eyes. Now, I can think of a mouth in several ways. I could break it into a J and a backwards J. Or I can say a three laying on his back like this. Zoop, zoop. Remember, if you make that sound, zoop, zoop. When you draw, you get bonus points. Bonus points. Now, give him some toenails. Weep, weep, weep. Weep, weep, weep. And the cutest little fuzzy tail you ever saw before. And the way I make the fuzzy tail is I wiggle, 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 wiggle. Right along there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All along there. And give him some fuzz in his ears. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And he's adorable. But do you know we could make this koala by adding a tree? Watch. It's go from the top just, of his head. Just, yes. Okay. okay. My turn. My turn. Okay. okay. She's going to tell, and I'm going to draw. Okay. 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 So, you go from the top of his head, mm -hmm. like in the middle, and then you go from the bottom down. Mm -hmm. And then if you want it to be a thick tree, you can do this like that. The edge. And if you want to add a um, branch. Not adorable. Yes. You can put the branches up in here. Hey, do you know how to make your koala move? Shake your paper. Or... What artists do sometimes is they use these little, look like quotation marks. You don't know what quotation marks are? This is a lesson. Quotation marks are when someone talks and they have these little lines that look like this. Watch real careful. Weep, weep. And see how it looks like his ear is moving? Weep, weep. Or you could do this weep, like. Weep. Or his tail. Or weep, this. weep, weep, weep. It looks like he's moving. This is what cartoon artists do. I love it. So now he's moving, even though he's not moving. Like, so you could also do, like, you know, like, <gasps> like that. I love it. Show them. Like, like if it's moving, and you could see it in slow motion, like how it vibrates. <laughs> I love it. You know what? Let's put rabbit ears on our koala. Yeah! Let's do it. Big, giant rabbit ears. Like Grayson and I have on today, these great big giant rabbit ears. Did your rabbit ears look something like this? Because mine did. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, look. I think you push these buttons. Watch. I'll wave. Oh, I wave, wave, wave to everybody. I love it. I love it. This is so fun. Thank y'all for joining in. Let's get started on our wacky Fun's rabbit. Up.
fun stuff. I just arted. <laughs> I did. Did you just art? Yeah, I did too. I just arted. All right, so now, what do you have for your drawing tools today? You could have watercolor, you could have markers, you could have pencils, pencils um, or you can have paint. This is acrylic paint. It is still the acrylic paint that I bought at Walmart, and it is called Apple Barrel. It is a relatively cheap paint, but it is a good paint to use. Sometimes you just have to go over it two times. Logo right. looks like this. Is that Apple Barrel? Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, yep, yep. Here we go. All right, I'm going to use chalk today to get started. I find the middle of my paper about Yasmo right here. Look, about halfway up, halfway down. In the very middle of the middle, right here, I'm going to put my rabbit's nose. When I make his nose, I go down and up. Let me turn that off. Down and up. Don't panic. Notifications off. There we go. And then I'm going to go across like a rainbow. So that's the nose. I'm going to use my Sharpie marker so you can see for sure. I want to do it. I want to do you it. have a Sharpie marker? Oh. I, I have one for you. I thought you might, wait a minute. I thought you might want a Sharpie marker. Can you see mine? You don't have to use a Sharpie marker. It sometimes shows through on your paint, but I want you to be, you to be able to see. Okay. So now I've got it this way. Now, I'm not going to do his eyes, and the reason is we're going to put glasses on him, so it's okay. But I'm going to come to the side, and I'm going to make the side of his face with a very wide set 11. Very nice. Does that marker work? Not really. Let's trade. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to go up to this top corner and I'm gonna make a big ear. I'm going to this top corner on this side. So I'm gonna start at the corner, yes, and I'm going to make a long, sad face. Like if you're making a... Um, and stop, good. Rainbow. And, right, good. like a rainbow. And then I'm gonna make a large, long smile over here. That's a good idea. Should have checked these markers. Lesson number two. I will you do tell the same you what on lesson number one is. Well, except look, it's leaning down. Yeah. See how it's leaning down? Boop. It's hanging down. I oh, know. you know what? You guys are going to see things maybe differently because is it a reverse, like a backwards in the video? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So here's what we want to do. I'm going to come here to this side and make the number 11 as though I sat on it. Okay. It's leaning out to the side. There you go. Good. Love it. Love it. Now paint forgives. Remember that. Paint forgives. And so we can paint over anything we don't like later. We can fix anything we don't like. Okay. Right. Right. And we just use our paintbrush to erase, just like Grayson's doing right here. Now yours may look a little different than mine, and that is fine. Don't stress. Remember the whole point is let it go, let it go, or whatever that song is. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Okay, yeah. All right. So now we're going to make another over to the side. I thought I turned that off. And it kind of scoops out over here and then it scoops out over here. Kind of looks like a baked potato or a candied yam or some kind of shape, like an ear, like the ear went flop, flop. So it's a floppy ear. There you go. That's my girl. Love it, love it, love it. Make a rainbow. Okay, then the rainbow kind of connects, so you'll make a rainbow right there. Wall. Perfect. We'll put a bow in in a little while. We'll put a bow in in a little while. We'll put a bow in the little while. 
The Y that you see on that rabbit is right here. It's upside down a Y. So maybe it's a V with a line. Maybe I made mine too long. I may have to scoot him up. He may look like he's a little sad. It's okay. He could do that. He could do that. Awesome. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to go around, scoop, around. What? I wasn't watching. Let's do it again. With your finger. Always use your finger first. Your finger helps your brain see it. Your eyes see it. It makes everything come together. So I'm going to make a round, a chin, and a round. I need this rabbit. He's got big cheeks because he ate all the carrots. Do you like carrots? So here we go. Oh, no, that's too big. That, no, but that's pretty cute. I love that one. <gasps> Really? He is pretty cute. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to go on this side. If you're at home, and I know you probably are, and you're having to learn the word parenthesis, look at that. Looks like parenthesis. You know, things inside. So we're going to put the face inside. It's telling you a little bit more information. And that's exactly what a parenthesis in our writing does. <sighs> Give me five. Ten more. Oh no, we touched. We have to use Germix. Hurry up. I can just put it on one side. You put it in. Do you know how? Here, ready? <laughs> Wash your hands. Keep clean. It's the rules. I did not just make them up. It's good, okay? What happened? You need something to wipe it off on? I'm just touching. Oh, not just... touching your stores. Good idea. Ouchie! I did that the other day. Them. You just do this. I flicked it. You just do this. Flick them, flick them. I, can, I can't blow on them. You have to blow on them. There you go. All right. I missed the chin. Say chin. Yours is very cute. I'm glad you erased and made it a little bit more proportional. Maybe I can. You see, I'm not going to worry that there's extra lines there. Maybe that's his scarf. Who knew? I'm going to use parenthesis again and come down the sign. Make the sound, extra point. Very good. And then remember this one up here, he has a white chest. So I'm going to go and just make a big letter U for you and me. Pretty I want to do mine like Oh, with his arms. All right, cool, cool. All right, here we are. Now, we're going to go back to the eyes, and I'm going to make, you know, when I was looking, where's that? Look at all of these different kind of glasses. Okay, you hold that side. Look at all those different kind of glasses on here. There's sunglasses and uh Glasses that they got probably from Dr. McCain's office here in Georgetown. They're because they're cute and they're colorful. And yep. And okay. so um, we can make any kind of glasses. But if I look at the glasses, I kind of see the letter B or two D's together. So I'm going to just take a line and I want them so big, you know, those big glasses, the kind that come way out. So I went really big. And I'm going to go up and over. If you don't like what you did, let's take a minute and erase and breathe. Oh, good. She left those lines. Good. 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 Now, that doesn't mean that we can't put little flower petals on the side. Some of you that watch... Um, that are maybe Miss Keller's age, know about Elton John and his wacko glasses. It's my favorite part. Thank you to Tracy Hunt for influencing me about Elton John. Who knew? I'm just saying. Who knew in junior high what we know now? And now in these two spaces, these two spaces, we're going to put the eyes. Wait for me. Wait for me. I'm waiting. Everybody wait. 
Yeah, we can start now. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So in these two spaces, touch where their eyes are going to go. Go ahead and touch. Right. This is not an eyeball out here. This is not the eyeball out here. It's right there. That would be funny. All right, so check and see. Think a minute. Is that where they go? Yes. And so let's go. Smile. Smile. <gasps> she has her eyes closed. Is yours a boy or a girl? Because you can tell by the eyes. Yeah. And then we're going to go across the top like a rainbow. They look like almonds or footballs or lemons. Almonds or footballs or lemons. She is absolutely adorable. Now, if you want her waving, you could make her arm over here waving. With waving. Or we could put carrots in the background. When you draw a carrot, all I want to do for a carrot is make a big giant V with a rainbow. Looks like a nose. I don't want to put the green part. I'm going to paint the green part. I'm actually going to paint my background first, and then I'm going to come back and put on my green part on my carrot, okay? So if you draw them, we're just going to paint over them, right? Oh, oh, oh. How big do you want them? I want my giant. You want a giant? They could go off the page. You know, artists do that. If you want a bow and all that other beautiful stuff, let's wait. Let's put that in later. If you want necklaces and uh, cheeks and all that, those are details. And since we're not drawing, which we will draw probably next week, we're just painting today. So don't draw anymore. Stop the drawing. Step away from the marker or chalk or whatever it is you've got because we're going to paint. Now, if you're drawing, you go right on ahead and you put in all the details that makes you happy. Oops, I missed. All right, love you, Bear. I just... And I'm turning it back this way, just a wiggle bear, so you can see it. All right, everybody's good. Like the thumbs up. And now we've got our paper plates. We have to decide... We have to decide what the background color is going to be. Pink. The background, right. Now remember, the background color needs to be different than the rabbit. Otherwise, you can't see the rabbit. He's incognito. All right. I'm going to choose blue for my background. And you said you're going to choose pink. For her background. Uh, Light pink or dark pink? Because I have them both. Pink parfait. Pink parfait. Like I did my flamingo. Okay. Shut up. This is bright, bright magenta, which teaches. You could use both, you know. You could use both. If you want, you could use two colors. In fact, let's do it and be wild. What? Let's do it. And let's put both. Brush as though it is a giant spoon, and I and I have party crasher, <laughs> and I have added two colors of blue to my plate. I've got a light blue and a medium blue, kind of like that. Okay, and I want to scoop them up like vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup. Both are fantastic. So I scoop it up both of them at the same time and I like to start in the corner and I want to smoothly paint back and forth back and forth how fast do you go I don't know I go very fast. <laughs> oh, and that's what happens if you go fast so you if fall you off go the chair. slow and meticulous stay around the outside of your lines I'm not worried. I'm just going to paint over here because I have a really bright, bright green. It's just kind of a medium blue, so I want to use a light, light green. 
and I'll put that up in here. Not to worry, not to worry. Oh, look at that coming together. So now I'm smoothing out. If you get too close into the rabbit, don't panic. Remember the whole point of this is to not panic and to just enjoy mm -hmm. this together. Paint along here. I think last time I said I would be listening to 70s music if I were painting this. But since we have to pay somebody royalties, remember us talking mm -hmm. about royalties? Yeah. Royalties, if I play music, I don't play music. But you should play music while you paint. It's really good for you. It just makes the paint flow. I have a friend, her name is Randy. Hi, Randy, I wonder if you're watching. Randy, and she and I paint to Phil Collins. True colors shining through. You know, I'm getting these peekaboos. Peekaboos are parts, yep, she's getting them. And you can always come back and paint it a second time. Paint it one more time. Well, try with the dark pink. See if that helps. I know. I'm, I'm going to do that. And she's going to paint over that, so we're not worried. Now, I could use a smaller brush in these smaller parts. Mm -hmm. And a smaller brush for smaller parts means you can get into the little detail areas a little better. But before I wash this brush out, I want to get all the big stuff first. So I can come back over there. I'm not done. <laughs> I know. It's because we're in close quarters, but I wanted them to be able to see. What we were doing, so we got a little closer today. Good plan. Good plan. Blue is the color of my background. Blue is the color of my background. Blue is the color of my background. What color is your background? Blue is the color of my background. 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 No, it's Yours blue. is pink. Yeah. Pink is the color of her background. Pink is the color of my background. Pink is the color of my background. What color is your background? I love it. Hope you don't have to pay royalties to someone for that. Good heavens. So, I am painting all the way to the edge. If you have a canvas, I like to paint the edges. You never need a frame. So I go along the top and I paint the edges again. Now, as you notice, Grayson is doing something a little different than I'm doing. And the reason that we do different things is because we are both artists. You are an artist too. You are an artist too. You are arting, so don't worry if your painting looks different than mine. In fact, you know, I'm just going to say that's called an original. You get more money for those. Go ahead. Ask me. I'll tell you the truth. Now, I'm pretty close to being happy with my background. I have a little bit of this. I could put some of that. Ooh, this is called blending. Artists do that. You could put in a little more color in here. You could have strokes on your on your painting. If you put some bigger strokes on there, you've got a bigger brush. I'm going to go get my little brush now. And my little brush is going to do this. You know what? I think I know how to fix that. I remember. Don't hang up on me. I'm going to I'm going to do something impressive. I'm going to press that button and now it should go away. Or maybe not. Yay, it worked. Okay. So now I don't have to worry about the beeping notification things. I've got it all done. I'm through with this brush, Grayson. If you're through with your I'm brush, not. she's I'm not. She's still painting. I'm going to be slower. What do you need? Oh, it fell. The paint fell. And so when you're painting, I will tell you, 
if you're painting with acrylic, it doesn't come out of your clothes. Do you want an apron? Did we decide that? You said no? Okay. It doesn't come out of your clothes. So if you're painting with acrylic, remember it's like permanent forever most of the time, except for the one time that it did come out of Grayson's clothes when they washed it. Yes. I don't know what they washed it with. It was weird. So I've got a smaller brush, okay, about that size. And so now I'm going to take that and I'm going to go up to the little areas up in here where I need to get the details. Guess what, friends? I can see behind my glasses. So this part, lo and behold, has to also be painted like your background because this is see-through. Glasses are see-through. See how my glasses are see-through? You can see through my glasses. I can see through your glasses. You can glasses. see through my glasses. Right. So if we, you can see through my glasses. You can see through the rabbit's glasses because they're bigger than his head. I'm doing glasses like this rabbit. I don't know if you can see it, but you probably can't. Well, I know you can't. Okay, like that. Hers is going to be this way. They're adorable. Adorable! And I've got to come up in here and use my brush. Depending on how you are painting, I will give you a secret. If you paint your brush this way wide, it makes a wide line. If you paint your brush this way, and you hold it this way, vertical, vertical. It'll make a skinny line. Isn't that cool? So, depends on which way you hold your brush. Practice over here in the corner on the side of your canvas. Which way makes your brush thin? Now, I've got plenty of paint on my brush. One thing that we always run into is not putting enough paint on your brush. If you start to hear that little scratchy sound, move on. Get more paint. Don't paint with the scratchy sound of your brush, unless that's your plan. You're trying to do dry brush, and that's another lesson. So I'm coming right up in here, and I am smoothing out those little areas. I'm giving it some nice love where I want it to have some love. I can take this skinny brush, and I can make some. Oh, look, I can make those. What were they called? Do you remember? Quotation. She knows it. Quotation marks. Your teacher's so proud. And so I'm making a couple of little crazy quotation marks in another color out to the side. So he looks a little wacky because that was the whole point today was wacky rabbit. Wacky rabbit. Wacky rabbit. Wacky rabbit. So can I've got my tiny brush now. You can. My tiny brush. All right. So it's a little, it's flat, and remember, if you hold it this way, it makes a wide line. If you hold it this way, it makes a skinny line. Practice those out, get those all going. You hear me washing? Listen. Okay, so when I wash a brush, I go into the water all the way down to the very bottom, and I write my name in cursive or print. And then I take it back out and I lick it. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. Take your brush and use your other fingers like a pincher and over the water, pinch it and the water will drip out and you just kind of pinch it. And it gets so beautifully and flat. Look at that. Beautiful and flat. Beautiful and flat. And I can make beautiful little lines with it. This is pretty cool. Fairly, fairly excited. What color is your rabbit going to be? Brown. Brown. It, oh, look at that. Love the texture. She's got some texture going on in the background. Don't be afraid to play. I still need this to be wet. Yeah, but I love that. Do some more of that. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, doggy. She is a Van Gogh. Better than a Van Stay at Home, right? But we're all right because even though we have to stay home, we're still visiting. We're just doing the best we can with what we've got. Yeah. Yep. Now we're going to paint the white part of the wrap. Well, the canvas is already I'm not white. Done. Why? Are, I know you keep going. You want a bigger brush? Yeah. I need a bigger brush. Okay. And so we're going to keep going. Oh my goodness, look, my mother's watching again. Oh. How does that happen? Oh. Okay, yesterday I asked her if she watched. She said for a few minutes. Maybe she'll stay on longer this time. <laughs> I'm going to use white, and even though my canvas is already white, and you could leave it that way if you want to, but I like this white better. This white is an acrylic white, and it looks better to me. It looks better if we use this white than using the gesso that's already on there. Remember, a canvas is just a piece of fabric that has been and gesso, gesso like we. Mm. Mm. So. Do you know, Grayson comes to art classes. She's been coming since she was three or thereabout. And you are almost eight. And so she's been coming a while, so she's learned this language that art to speak and um, I'm, I'm very proud that she's learned those things. Shout out again to her parents. I like them as well. All right, let's go down here to the stomach. I'm gonna paint in the stomach. If you're like Grayson and you're still hanging out on the canvas, by the way, these canvases that we're doing are 16 by 20s. Um, Do it as small or as big as you want to do. An 8 by 10 it's the same process. I just did it on a big one again so you can see. But you could do them on smaller ones. When we have our art camp, when things are normal and we do our art camp, we usually take two hours to do a painting. We're going to do it in a shorter amount of time because we don't want you to uh, have to sit through most of it. But we have ice cream usually. I'm also painting his inside of his ear white. Do you see that up there in that top one? Do you see how his top of his ear is white right there? And you see that white muzzle? That's called the muzzle. And so I'm gonna just paint in there. If I paint over that Sharpie marker, I'm not worried. Oh my goodness, I see a paint booger. I know. Yes, baby. I don't want to get the, the lines to go away. How do you get the lines to go away? That's a great question. One way you can get your lines to go away is to use your brush. And I love it, by the way. I wouldn't take away my lines. But if you want your lines move, you stay in one line. You go no, from the what top. what I mean is these Oh, lines. those lines. Those lines. In a few minutes, I see what she's talking about. In a few minutes, we're going to go back over it with another coat. It's like another layer, okay? And so that little line that she drew with, that she wants to get rid of, we'll get rid of that little line here in just a few minutes. We'll turn on the fan. You want to go turn on the fan? Do you know how to turn on the fan? That little red button on the wall. And that'll dry it faster. Right there. And beep. She's turning on the fan. Yes, and then the fan will dry it. You know, we do have another fan around here. Where Good. is your I'm fan? You have your fan still? I have my fan. Put your fan out. Boop. <laughs> and fan away. And that'll help it dry. And we fan them away. No, you fan yourself. You don't fan, you fan the pictures. Yourself. You fan yourself. All right, we're letting our friends have a chance to dry. We're letting these have a chance to dry. Dry, 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 dry. Better not teach you music. Better let Miss Boatwright do that. Shout out to Miss Boatwright, wherever you are. All right, right in here. And I've got this part. Ready for my rabbit. Ready for your rabbit. I'm just kind of giving him a little bit more white. 
Not that I can't come back and fix that better later. Paint lets you do it several times. Do you want my white? White? No. no. You want your own? Here, here's your white. Do you want my brush? Sure you do. So I painted my stomach. And I painted my face. And I painted inside my ears a little bit. And then I want to paint my rabbit. Now that rabbit right there, back in the back, is gray. And then the other one is brown. If you want your rabbit to be green, that's fine. But I'm going to save green for when I do the carrot tops. If you want your rabbit to be orange, that's fine. But I'm going to save orange for my carrots over here. And I think I'm going to paint my glasses purple. Yeah, I just really dig purple glasses. The next time I get glasses, I'm getting purple glasses. I'm just saying that's what it is. And then um, I think I want my bow to be pink. And I did like that one last time. I may change my mind because you can change your mind before you get I there. I want a rainbow bow. A rainbow bow to match our rainbow ears. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Look, yeah. mine is rainbow too. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> he just moved. <laughs> and so, now I want to paint the rest of his body. I think I'll choose brown again. I'm going to put my brown on my plate right beside where my white was at because I can use the brown and the white kind of together almost at the same time and create a little bit of highlight highlight light which is another way to say shiny part okay shiny part shiny part shiny part shiny part, shiny part. Shiny part. Shiny part. Okay. oh oh that's like shark in it yeah. uh Baby, let's see. Shiny part, do 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 do. do shiny, shiny part, do 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 do. Shiny, shiny shark. <laughs> tiny shark, do 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 do. Tiny. Tiny shark. shark. <gasps> Should we do a shark sometime? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I have a shark. For Shark Week. We should. We should. We do Shark Week, you know, in the summer. Mm hmm. When mm -hmm. is Shark Week? Uh, July, I think. Whenever it is on the television, that's when I do Shark Week here in the studio. How am I supposed to know when Shark Week is? Well, that's you have a you have a uh, person in your life who takes care of your social calendar. Yeah. It's your mom or your dad. I don't. The other day she laughed. She said, "I don't know what calendar salad is." I told oh, yeah. her I was making calendar salad. And that's when everything gets mixed up. It doesn't oh. go like you plan. So I had calendar salad the other day. I didn't have to paint over my glasses. Okay, paint over your glasses. Paint over your glasses because you can always paint it back on. Now, I've got this one dose of brown, but look, if I add a little white to that paint, it, ooh, it makes it. it lighter. That's called a tint. T-I-N-T. T I N T, T I N T, not the kind you go camping in. My neighbors went camping. Oh, that's cool. Carly and Annika and Ainsley went to camping. That's something, you know. I bet if people are home, they could go camping in their backyard. They didn't go in their backyard, but. You could go camping in your backyard. You see how that black um, Sharpie marker shows through? That's why I typically don't say use Sharpie marker, but we use Sharpie marker because we wanted you to be able to see it. Well, also because you're going to paint it black anyway. Right, right, right. So I've got this lighter color going on, and now I'm going to go, and I think this is going to be a scarf. I didn't have it in the other one. It was a mistake. I could either just paint over it again or I can turn that mistake into something else. Boop. Turn that mistake into something else. Boop. So that mistake right there, I'm just going to turn that into a scarf. 
or a turtleneck or a t-shirt or <laughs> I don't know. Now I come up here and I need his forehead and this part. Look at that. It looks like the letter D. Looks like he has a hat on. Okay. And so once I get that, then I'm going to go. Do you have water? You need water. Are you ready for your um, color of your rabbit? What color is your rabbit? Brown or gray? Brown. She likes brown too. And you can make it darker brown by adding, I have some darker Black. brown over here. Yep, yep. Or we can just add a little white and stick with the tint. Next time we'll add black and we'll call it a, um, a shade. A shade. Now, Grayson's right. You almost possibly, maybe, and things happen that way, you have to go over your glasses. If your glasses are hidden, it's okay. We just paint them back on. If you need a smaller brush for your space, I am going to bring this all the way around the edge because I like it that way. Kind of has that bulldog look to him for a few bulldog. minutes. Bulldog. Bulldog. Like bulldog. Well, he's a rabbit, but... Maybe he, maybe it's a bulldog in a rabbit suit. Yeah, but we're painting it. So I painted it on a rabbit around. in a bulldog suit. There it is. Could be. You never know. Now I'm going to come up here to his ear, and I'm going to do this. Whoa! Stay on there. Now you can make a second coat. All if you want. Always, always, always. If you run into the situation where your eyes got painted over, don't sweat it. Okay? Just say, it's all right. It's all right. We'll put them on later. It's all right. We'll put them on later. In fact, just for craziness, I'm going to cover mine up. I covered mine up. See? He's blind. <laughs> He's blind. And that's all right. He's we'll blind. We'll put those eyes in. He's sleeping. He's sleeping without his glasses. Sorry. Right. He's, kind of He's sleeping. I need this part on the sides to be brown. And then when the ear folds over, the whole ear becomes solid. It's drooping. I used a bigger brush for the bigger spots. You use what you have. If you don't have art supplies, if your parents will text me at my phone number, I will put some brushes out on the back porch. You can borrow them. If you put a roll of toilet paper out there in a plastic bag because it's supposed to rain, and if someone needs toilet paper, all they have to do is grab the toilet paper and take the paintbrushes and the toilet paper. And um, well, yeah, you I think, well, you know, there's a lot of stories written as to that question, Grayson. Why are people buying so much toilet paper? There, uh, it is true. It is a true question. It's like the mystery, the eighth mystery of the world. Mm -hmm. What's the first mystery? I don't know. We'll look it up. Google it. Google it. Google it. <laughs> I don't want him to have a muzzle. No muzzle. No muzzle. No muzzle necessary. No. Or later, if you want to, you could take white and draw him back in. Here is some brown. You can use my brown because I'm done with my brown. And you can mix it together. Right, right, right. Like I said, we're speeding because we don't know how long you're willing to hang with me. But um, I'm going to get another plate. Shout out to mom. I hope you're there. She still is. Mom is still there. I saw her. 
Oh yes, she is. I love it. My mom's still on too. That's crazy. Let's let's paint. Now the is your background dry? Your background is not quite dry. It's almost dry, but it's not quite dry. Oh, there's a fingerprint for Miss Keller forever on your painting. Uh -huh. Yep. I can just look at it. And so I'm going to get my light pink and I'm going to paint my inside of my ears light pink. There is a white halo around my ears. You do you. Ooh, I'm having a personal summer. This aging business is just about to kill me. I gotta have a drink or something. Whew. I love that, Grayson. Do I get to keep this painting? You get to keep this painting. You gotta take home the flamingo. We forgot the other night. Now. Oh, Dad said he wanted to sell it. I I will. I will sell your painting. To me. Oh, okay. To me. To me. <laughs> You'll sell it to me. Yes, yes. If uh, anyone would like to buy Grayson's flamingo painting, go get your flamingo painting. And uh, this will go towards her car fund because she's set on her college fund according to Grayson yesterday. And uh, so if you'd like to buy Grayson's flamingo painting, she is helping us out in this quarantine situation. And all money to purchase her flamingo painting will go to her car fund. No, it will go or to Or my me. rent. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It will go to me. I'm kidding. I'm, not, I'm just kidding. It will go um, to me. I did have a couple of folks I am thankful for who have said they would put a little Venmo money in my box uh, to help kind of defray some of the cost here. I appreciate that. So, uh, who did that? I know, shout isn't that sweet? It is a big shout out to them because you know it's on everybody's mind, but we have to take care of That's each other. That's a giant ear. That's a fat ear that I have. I love that ear. That ear means he ate enough carrots and that he grew too much. <gasps> Maybe it's a chocolate rabbit. Chocolate rabbit! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Serious business. <laughs> we must not laugh. What? What? No laughing. No laughing aloud? No laughing aloud. Well, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> there is a laugh. I added a little white to my pink because remember when you add white to pink, it makes it lighter. And so I can use a little lighter bit right in here and hoot this right up here and make my little nose. So adorable. All right, you need some pink? Here's your pink. I have pink right here. Okay, you do, and you need some white. A tiny bit of pink. No, yep. a tiny brush. And then I'm going to- A tiny brush. A tiny brush. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I never right. use this. I have brush. more. No, 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 I have a tiny brush. Okay, if that's not tiny enough, I have more. Then I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna make its lips, her lips. Whoever it is who yep. painted. I haven't decided if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a girl because- it's got the glasses. Well now, Mr. Keller wears glasses. Shout out to Mike Keller. Wonder if you're watching. Go ahead, hit the like button for him. Honey bun. Anybody. Yes. Anybody. Anybody, hit the like button. All right, here subscribe. we go. And subscribe to the Kim YouTube channel. Kimberly Keller. That's right. Paint with me, Kimberly Keller. Paint with me, Kimberly Keller. I might have to rename my business. Why? Could call it Paint with me and Grayson. Yeah. No. But I might not be here every time. What? Panic stricken. Okay. I meant like when we have camps and oh. stuff. All right. I will be here every time we have these. Okay. okay. Don't freak out. <laughs> You're about to have a heart attack. If you yeah. don't have a heart attack. I won't. It's you on my list. Would. I take medicine. I'm good. All right. Here we are. Just don't have a heart attack. Nope. In front of the camera. No. That would be bad. That would be very bad. She's finishing her ears. I am going to zip on down the road and head for my 
carrots. Pumpkin orange carrots. Pum pum pumpkin carrots. Pumpkin carrots. Right hey. as we said pumpkin carrots, like all of these hearts and ah! things came pumpkin up. Pumpkin carrots. I guess you guys like pumpkin carrots. Pumpkin oh, carrots. Everything. I like it. All right, pumpkin carrots. And I almost forgot one thing that we love to put on our paintings. What? that we put the extra glitter in. I sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. I tell the children that I have that you have to go to college in order to learn to use glitter. It's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You want to um, use your glitter sparingly and then do what I call the glitter dance. Can y'all hear it underneath? Try to look. It's like this. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Hey, I'm getting glitter, the glitter on. dances. And the Bye. glitter dances. I'm a dancing glitter. And then we put it in the box and go and hit it, bonk, and all the glitter falls into the box. However, here it just fell into my hand. I'm coming home tonight with glitter. Oh, yay. Yeah. <coughs> glitter, the gift oh my gosh, keeps on here. giving. Yep. All right, so we got a little glitter on. But there's a peekaboo. No, but you remember I said I was going to make that into a scarf. There's a peekaboo. Oh. Too bad. <laughs> Moving on. She's like, whatever. I don't care. Moving on. Painting my carrots. What if you painted your carrots too small? You got too much background color. Now is the time to paint it again. You want a long carrot root. Pull that down a little further. That's those I carrot like roots. Little, oh, the little Duma hickeys. You could. The Duma hickeys. Yep. Did you make it root? Did you know a carrot is a root? Yeah. Vegetable? So you're eating the root. You are eating a root. Can you name another root vegetable? Radish. Someone out there said turnip. Turnip. Say another one. Root vegetable. Beet. 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 Root vegetable. Parsnip. Parsnip. Yes. I would have never guessed. Yes. Mine. Just say mint. Mint. Just say it. Mint. Whatever. Mint. Just go with it. Mint. Just go with it. Mint. <laughs> all right. All right. You said parsnip. Pars. Pars. Oh, that's like parsley. Pars parsley and parsnip. Yeah, parsnip is like a white. It looks like a carrot. Yeah. We but grew it's white. them in our garden. We're gonna have a garden. Yesterday, my uncle plowed the garden for us. It's so green. Or maybe it was my cousin. I don't know which one plowed. But somebody plowed the garden. And so now we're going to hit it up. Oh. Hey, I'm going to uh, always wash out my brush and squeeze, squeeze and drip, squeeze and drip, squeeze and drip. Maybe. You need one? I'll use this one. Okay. Squeeze and drip. What do you need? You need orange? No. She's still painting. She's painting the nose. She's painting the cheeks. We're painting. We're getting there. I feel like this color might need to match her glasses, but I'm not sure. Glasses. Now. Her glasses. How do you draw with paint? You lightly draw. Mm, you lightly draw, but you just don't use a pencil. You use your brush. So if I am going to draw my glasses, I'm holding my brush like this, and I'm going right in where into my paint with almost a straight up, I call this the soldier. So do the soldier. Try okay. it right now. Do the soldier. The soldier. Do that again. And dip in, pull it out, hang in there. Go to your glasses. I'm going to go this direction. And when I paint a straight line, I hold my breath. I hold 
my breath and commit. And commit. And commit. All right, on the three, ready? One, two, two, two three. Go! Don't stop till you get to the other side. If you Something quit breathing, like right, I have a plan. CPR. <laughs> That's right, CPR. <sighs> Looks pretty decent. Not, a, not, not too bad, not too bad. Remember, I'm a professional. If yours doesn't look just right, don't sweat it. You want to see how long I can hold it? How long can you hold it? I'm not going to. Don't gonna you pass, pass, pass out. I'm not going to pass out. Right. Three, two, one. <gasps> Can't do it. You're done. If you pass out, I'm gonna just flip out. Then what? Are you painting? I could still do it for longer. All right, ready? But On the count of three, everybody's painting. One, two, two three. three. Paint. <laughs> my my pinks came off, and they're on the You floor. know, I used to teach high school art too, mm -hmm. and someone said, "Which is easier, teaching high school art or teaching?" Kindergarten. Kindergarten. I told him, I said, the only difference between a high schooler and a kindergartner is the age. Is the size of their clothes. I promise you, that's it. Trust me. Yeah. I did both. Now I'm making these eyes a little bigger. I'm kind of digging them, but you know what is happening to me? I can't see the eye, the glasses, as bright as I want to. I think it needs to be a little lighter. So what on earth do I need to do to make it lighter? Add white. white. Add white. So I've added some white. I've just dipped it in there. And there's a little space let right here. Grayson is just sprinkling glitter because she thinks she went to college. We have a college fund. We haven't gone to college yet, but she's on her way. First, she has to apprentice for me. Whoa. And so now I've used some light color. Go this way. There we go. Ta da! So happy. And I've added white to my glasses. And it makes them stand out a little more. Do you see how they kind of come forward because I've added some here? Forward here. All right, finish they up. Come forward, forward, I'm getting, forward, I'm getting internet out at the farm today. I know they're coming at 3:15. I think I just put paint on my face. Yes, you did. You have a little. Thing uh oh, right here. and someone's at the door. Your mom's gonna go deal with them. She's gonna go deal with them. I think I just put paint on them. <laughs> I'm not going to H E B, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. What else do I need? What else do I need? Oh, what do you need? You glasses. need, you need what? Glasses. glasses. What color are your glasses going to be? Yours are going to be blue. The dark blue will be beautiful. Look. All right, blue. And I am going to go with green on my carrots. Remember I said I needed lighter color because I had a dark background. So a lighter color, um, a lighter color. By the way, someone just said, will you do this tomorrow? I'm going to upload this to my Facebook so you could watch it again and also uh, upload it to my YouTube. And then you can watch it again and go along and then hit that space button. Every time you want me to slow down, you just control it. And with the space button and space bar button, and then you'll get to see it. The space button, you're going to space. <laughs> Why am I so weird? Because you're my friend. I think I just got. Paint. I love you. I just got painted on her. Where? Right there. Oh yeah. Shh. Oh. Yeah. Here we are. Here we are. I know. All right. Green. I've got green, and I'm going to go zoop, 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 zoop. Look at. 
that. Isn't that magnificent? Look how that shows up. Zoop, zoop. Miss Erin, is there a problem? No, they just dropped off for, I guess, next door. Somewhere. Oh, cool. We're so happy. They dropped off next door. So if anybody out there is with SOS communication, some of your stuff is in my building. So um, Candace, make, some, make a plan. I love you. And uh, maybe I'll take it with me tonight because they're going to put in my internet out at the farm tonight because I got to be able to do some stuff and not have to drive into town. Look at that. Oh, these are cute. I didn't know. I am on today. Are you on today? Yeah. You I'm are. Slow. <gasps> That's adorable. Can you see them? It's adorable. She's so cute. All right, I've got some some um, green here. You know, I only used one value of green, and value in art means color or shade or tint. And so I'm using my darker green and my lighter green. I can use both colors again. Think of it like mashed potatoes and gravy, though some of you don't like mashed potatoes and gravy. I don't get it, but you do you. And you put both colors on. My mom makes the best mashed potatoes and gravy. She made them last night. It was a good day. She wanted to make meatloaf. I vetoed that. Do you like meatloaf? Say no. <laughs> I'm not telling you what she said, Erin. Nope, I'm not telling. I'm not telling. Okay, mom knows. mom knows. Then I have this tool that I love to put on. Oh, I'm going to put a little green glitter because glitter makes everything happy. I'll put a little green glitter on my carrots. Once again, if you don't have glitter, but you have an ask first, for heaven's sakes, ask mom's makeup. Okay. The other day, I had a little boy, or mom and little boy, and they didn't have any brushes, but she used her makeup brushes. That's perfect. Toothbrushes work. Hopefully you don't need some. Well, all right. Old toothbrushes. Fine. Yes, old. Do the glitter dance. Glitter dance. I don't know if you can say the glitter dance. And, um, okay. <laughs> and you click it. Is it? Click it. And that's the ticket. Oh, She's I'm done. about to Did sing it, it, sister. Oh, more pain on me. Oh, well. Once again. More pain on you. Looks like you have paint on you. Really? Yes, I think you have been painting today. Really? Uh, well, yes. Show it, Miss Keller. <laughs> All of that. Yep. And I, I'm just the pink lady. She's the blue lady. That's us. Bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble, bubble gum, gum, bubble, bubble gum, gum in my shoe. Tell me which color do you choose? choose? What color? Bubble gum, bubble gum. gum. In on my shoe. Bubble gum, bubble gum. I don't know how it goes. Bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. How many pieces? No, that's not it. I'll just look it up. Whatever. Who that's it. Google it. Google it, girlfriend. Google it. I'm putting her scarf on. I'm gonna give her a little pink in the scarf along with it. <laughs> the secret <laughs> weapon! The secret weapon is the back end of the brush. It makes delightful little dots. Just the brush. So if I wanted to make little dots. Ew. Whoa. Are you still in? Yeah, Good job. I'm alive. If I want to make <laughs> yep, little dots all mm. the way across. I could do little dots on the glasses. I could get out the glitter These again are if I have want some to. Crazy, crazy, crazy um, little carrot greens. Did you know they're not called carrot leaves? They're carrot greens. Okay. Can you eat carrot greens? I don't know either. Better Google it. My cousin. And I talked this morning, and she said that she had um, planted collard greens. Hmm? I know. Collard greens. What are collard greens? I really don't know. 
but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like them. But I like spinach and I like kale, so maybe I should give oh. it a try. Kale chips are good. I know, kale chips. See, Yvonne, I told you, kale chips. Everybody loves kale chips. Get Gary some kale chips. I love how you're painting. This is so fabulous. Now, I am about ready to do the eyes. I have something called a dotter. D-O-T-T-E-R. 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 D -O -T -T -E -R -D -O -T -T -E we can do the ears instead of the feet. T -T -E -R. Yeah, that's right. Grace and I are trying not to hug or do anything <laughs> that's going to get in each other's spaces much. So we have this foot um, thing. Yeah, we may have to do it later when we take like that off. This. Here, put it up here. One, two. two. Those are our hugs. Okay. And so I've got a daughter. D O T T E R. Not a daughter. I have one of those too. Hello, Ashley Keller. I love you. And I have a son too. Hello, Aiden Keller. I love you. So I've almost got it done. Headed for the home stretch. I've got a daughter. You can use your brush. You can use your daughter. Daughter is a little spongy doohickey. Doohickey. Put it in there. Practice on a piece of paper. When you practice on the piece of paper, you, her, you put it on here. And you give it a little wheeze. And twisting. And that makes the bright thing. Isn't that adorable? I know Giving that. things a little wheeze. Yep, Are there it is. Things? And weep goes the eye. Oh my goodness. Weep goes the eye. Cuter than usual. Cuter than usual. Use the other end of the daughter. D O T T E R. Love it. She's not playing the drum. She's getting off the glitter. It Please vibrates. Can vacuum it up. Bum, 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 bum. Vibrates. Do you know what I artists are? Artists are really just very good. Artists are really just scientists. Yeah, we're just scientists. Sorry. We try to Sorry, scientists. Things. You're not a scientist. If you're a scientist, you have to be an artist. That's it. Because <laughs> you'd have to wonder what happens if. Wonder what happens if I put this end in the paint like the secret weapon. And I go here and I give it the cutest little highlight. But there's more to it. Isn't that adorable? But, but wait, but, but, but wait, there's more. She's going to do more. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? That is perfect. I can use a highlight to make on her nose so it looks like she has a little shine. Oh, it was reconnecting. Sorry, it was reconnecting. Oh. It was reconnecting. It was like this. Reconnecting. 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 All right, so we're reconnected now. And remember that Sharpie marker. After it dries. 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 Use your Sharpie marker. And you can mm -hmm. outline it or do any little tiny okay. details you want to it. I don't know if that's dry. That looks pretty dry. Aren't those adorable? But you have to wait till it dries or you kill your marker. And you don't want you to kill your marker. You know what I mean? Um, I, do I do summer classes? I do. And whenever there's commotion is over we will go back to doing classes i usually take 10 to 12 kids at a time and i have a friend who comes miss beth and we do art lessons this was supposed to be an art lesson today in the studio for spring break however under the circumstances we have quarantined each other and um Just we can't talk about because right. everybody will freak out everybody freaks out we don't want any freaking out don't freak out none not today not today. So I'm loving this. When I'm done with mine, I usually take it outside. I don't do it in here. See, Grayson could use her Sharpie marker right yeah. there and go and fix that. Um, you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use a Q-tip. Oh, I love it. We didn't even use the skewers. 
we have to use the skewers. All right, so I use this stuff at the very end. It keeps the glitter on, and it kind of acts like sunscreen for paintings. You can um, hang it up without the sun really reaching it as much. I wouldn't shower with it. You could, but I wouldn't probably. And um, it's adorable. I love it. Now, she's used Q-tips. If you want to make even the skinnier lines, where's the skewer? I don't know. Wait, wait. There it is. It's over there. A skewer or a toothpick. Skewer. And you put those in there. Then you can come right here and look. Watch this. This is exciting. One. Two. Uno. Two. Dos. Tres. Reload. Reload your brush. Reload your brush. Reload your brush. I do after school art classes too. Homeschool art classes. Grown up art classes. I'm going to have grown up art classes videos tomorrow. Um, so hang in there. That'll be fun. We're going to do a watercolor and probably a drawing tomorrow. Uh, Grayson isn't participating because she isn't over the age of adult, whatever that is. I don't know. But it's um, actually 21. 18 or 21. Though, I, I'm going to miss you. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be near as much Sorry. fun. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to, we're going to, we're going to solve this problem. I'm trying to limit my exposure of people because I have a mother who's 81 years old, who I love very much. And I have a daughter who I love very much, who is pregnant with our first grandbaby. And, um, that's exciting. So I want to try to limit my exposure to other people. <gasps> she can have earrings. <gasps> she did what? She can have earrings. She can have earrings. She can have bunny earrings. <laughs> Let's do A it. bunny wearing bunny earrings. I love it. Let's A bunny wearing bunny earrings wearing bunny earrings. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. Three of those. Three of those. That is so oh. cute. Because you can make yours anything you want to. You can add to it. You can take away from it. We've got a necklace that we want to add yet one more minute, and then we probably have to call it off. But um, I have a sweet, sweet son as well. I'm trying not to expose him. He is a fireman and a uh, EMT near Houston, so he's exposing himself every day. And um, Grayson's dad is also a fireman, and um, sweet mom is a life coach. We love them both very much, and they're kind of in our circle of our family, so we said that probably since we hang out together so much anyway, we would be all right. So that's how come I asked Grayson to come and participate with me. I hope this virus doesn't last too much longer. Because we might not be able to go. Right, we would. Right, we're going we're gonna to handle it somehow. Somehow we will. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just, just decline the me decline. I don't know. Decline. We don't want to talk to whoever's calling. I'll yes. call you later. I love you, but not now. Yes. All right. We're I'm sorry. Gonna, yes, that's 512 it. person. 512 person. Hit the trail. All right. Now, you know what? Swap. I didn't use any yellow. Yeah, I want yellow on my hand. I'm going to use some yellow and make a yellow necklace. You didn't I use, use the any red on yours, anyway. Where is it? No, I didn't. With every color, I have to have like every color of the rainbow on my. You know, I, I didn't. Oh, I'm saying I didn't put purple because I have this giant. I have this little rainbow oh, on right. my thing, oh, and I'm right. saying I don't have purple, and the background is purple. Hello. Hello. Am I blind? Not this week. Just asleep. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> I've got the necklace. When I make the necklace, I'm just using my Q-tip, and I can make a space in between every other one. And if I go every other one, this is too cute for words. Too cute for words. I'm Mom, I'm bringing this home and putting it on the refrigerator. <laughs> just saying. We're not living together. We're sort of living together because my son has a dog. Yes, yes, my son has a dog. He's a big, giant hound dog, 
and he hangs out at her house when Aiden is on little couple of days off. He's got a couple of days off, and so Ace is with us. He's adorable. I saw Ace once. Yes, I brought him up here. He's before. adorable. He is adorable. But anyway, adorable. he hangs out at the farm. Because that's the best place for him. Mm -hmm. So I've got this. Oh my goodness, look how adorable. And it's got its necklace. Now, I'm going to use the other end. Ooh, I just touched my nose. Quick, where's the Perel? Okay, it's not Perel. Germans. Oh, <gasps> no. She got the heart daughter. And she's dotting heart necklace. I feel... Get more pink. Need more pink. Where's the red? Who ate the red? Oh, there it is. The red, the red, the red. I'm done with red. I need red. I gotta have red in between my yellows. <laughs> All right. Now here it is. And I can put the need red in caring. between. Do what? You need to carry it. Oh, you need more orange. 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 Too much fun for words. Isn't that adorable? What color does red and yellow make? Red. Try again. Oh. Red and yellow. Oh, I yellow thought you said make. orange and okay it, okay, it makes orange. It does, it makes orange. It does, it makes orange. So darn cute. I want her. She could have pearls. She could have jade. She could have earrings. Look at those earrings. Those are adorable. I am so excited. Well, I guess that's about it for today. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Share this. Wash your hands. <laughs> Stay well. Hopefully when all of this is over, you can come and hang out with me and we can do some stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And um, for break, we'll have ice cream because that's the way we roll. Yep. Yep. And, um, oh, yes. I love you. And I love you, Grayson. <gasps> She's putting on the feet, the very final feet. So I'm going to stay on just a little bit longer. And then I'll have to. Let me see if there's a question on here. Uh, she's to do summer class. I mean, um, homeschool classes with me. I love it. Leah Reeves is yay. And Leah Reeves, the price kind of depends, honey, on what we do and how big the canvas is. Um, so you're gonna get be able to check my website because Shada um, is making a wonderful website for me. If you haven't looked at it, www.paintwithmekeller.com. From Calamar Designs, she's working out, and she's going to be able to, you check out which ones you want to do, and it's got a cart, and you can sign up online and click the button and pay online. I know, I know, I'm going in the big leagues. Um, if we get this glitter, virus last, under last control. Last minute glitter, last minute glitter. As long as we can get this virus under control, um, I'm coming back. We'll be able back. to see you. Yes, we'll be able to see you. See you. And um, so where's our fans? If you're a fan, be sure and subscribe. Yep. And we love you very much. Have a great day. Where's the finish button? Bye.